Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome dear students to another tutorial about Python programming. In this tutorial we're gonna solve an example using an if lf else statement. So as we discussed before to be able to solve the example you need to read the scenario and understand the problem. Okay, very well. Half of the answer is going to be understanding the problem and how to solve it. Okay, and then you're going to write the program coding. In this example, we are, we are going to talk about, or we are going to solve the problem of finding if the year is common or leap year, based on the Gregorian calendar. Okay, so the scenario gives us these conditions, or these, yeah, th these conditions. So it says if the year number is not divid divisible by four, they are going to come in here. Otherwise, which means in programming else if, a year is divisible or not divisible by 100 is going to be a leap year and so on so when you have a if we are going to compile it to an if in programming when ha we are going to have when we have another wise usually it's an else but when we have another wise with if it's going to be else if so this is how you should understand the issue here now this is first step so we are going to have I'm going to put my code here we are going to have if and then a condition and then lf and then another condition and then lf another condition and then the last thing is going to be else so i'm going to put colon after each and then i'm going to write the condition later on you see f else f else f else again usually otherwise means else but since it is followed by an f it means an else f or lf in python okay so now it says here if the number is is not divisible not divisible not divisible how do i know if the number is divisible or not basically we are going to use uh, the modulus operator that we learned in module 2 which is this one the percentage symbol this modulus returns the remainder of a division of a, a process or operator so i'm going to open the ideal the ideale python ideale and we are going to test it here so if we print for modulus 2 sorry the remainder is going to be uh, sorry about that enter the remainder is going to be 0 okay if we write print 5 modulus 2 this is going to give us 1 so then this symbol is used to return the remainder of the division operator if the result is 0 it is divisible so 4 is divisible by 2 if it is not 0 any other number it means it is not divisible by this number so we are going to use this technique to solve this problem so here the number that we are going to test is the year so first of all we have the year equal integer input enter and we use integer to change or to convert the input return value which is a string into an integer as we learned before now we are going to write the condition here so if if what if the number in this case it's a year modular which number it is not divisible by 4 which means if the year modular 4 is not equal to 0 which is not divisible by 4 when it is not equal 0 it means it's not divisible if this returns 0 if it, it is divisible okay so this is the first condition and the second condition is going to be control C I'm gonna copy it save time and this time I'm gonna divide it by 100 and next we are going to divide it by 400 we are getting the values from here you see 400 400 and then else okay so what we're going to do that what we're going to do if the condition is true or false we're going to return common year leap year and so on so we're going to print it's going to be a simple print statement i'm going to press tab and then we're going to print and it is going to be sorry it is going to be uh, first of all it's going to be common year I'm gonna copy the print statement again and print and print if it is not divisible by 100 it's gonna be leap year if it is not divisible by 400 it's gonna be a common year and then it's gonna be a leap year usually an Itacad lab labs they give you test data so you test your program against these data and see if the result is gonna be similar to what they give you here to check if your program is working or not so I'm gonna play I'm gonna run the application 
sometimes it takes time because it's online interpreter okay let's wait for it okay uh, it doesn't respond I'm gonna pause it okay anyway let me copy this and I'm gonna refresh it seems I have an issue with the connection I'm gonna paste and let's try to run it again run yep this time it's going to be let's wait for it I don't know what's the issue here okay it's not showing the 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 message here so I'm gonna enter four for example it is not showing it's not responding it seems um, there is a something wrong with the with the with the net with the sandbox interpreter anyway I'm gonna go to the IDLE uh, as I said sorry not IDEL IDLE Python IDLE and I'm gonna create a file I'm gonna use another file which is I already here I already wrote this application before I'm gonna just paste it and then we are gonna run it against these values uh, let us see the result here so the first value is gonna be 2000 and something and, and so on okay f5 I'm gonna run okay this is the issue here then it was not the, the it was my ish my problem okay no problem it's very easy to find now into the year we're gonna enter 2000 and we should see leap here yeah that's good correct another run 2015 it's gonna be a common year correct now we are gonna test it against 1999 1999 this is going to be a common year and let's go back to the Netacad and see the 1996 but this time let me fix the problem that I have here sorry I will stop and I will okay I can refresh faster and we are going to put our code again and we are going to put this here and we are going to put it okay very good now let's try it on 1996 don't press F5 again it's the same issue okay no problem don't never mind we are gonna run it again against 1996 it's gonna be leap year yes it's a leap year now what if we try 1580 what if we try 1580 let's see are we gonna get the same result or not 1580 we are gonna get an error here okay why because we have a problem with the base 10 thing here okay anyway the sample here shows us not there is no error here it basically shows me that I should get a, a, an output says not within the Gregorian calendar period uh, how do I know that if you get back to the scenario and they said you need to understand the scenario very well it says here since the introduction of the Gregorian calendar in 18 or 1582 so if the year that you enter is less than 1582 you should get that message okay I'm gonna undo I'm gonna get back to my previous solution here you see what I did basically this is this was the solution that we did but we used another if statement why because this if statement is gonna check the year if it is less than 18 or 1582 we are gonna get this message otherwise we are gonna continue as usual so let me try it again this time and I'm gonna write 580 you see not within the Gregorian calendar period so now we are good we solve the problem of the, the lab correctly you can save your file and anyway don't worry about what happened here because this is sometimes happen happen sometimes happening with the sandbox as at an online interpreter you better download an offline one like Python IDL, IDLA which is free thank you very much and we see you in next tutorial inshallah